All right, guys, so Canopy did not uh, do very well on their earnings report today, or at least it was not received well. Um, I think there was some real positives uh, from the earnings report, but it was not received well. Um, it's kind of getting to be uh, an everyday thing <laughs> here lately. Really, none of the stocks are trading well right now. I think this one was a little glorified. I think it got a little overly beat up today. Um, so I'll just talk quickly about what I did. Um, I get in my TD Ameritrade account, tried to short canopy growth on the miss and uh, could not get shares. Then I jumped over to Webull, tried to short canopy growth, could not get shares. So I went to Robinhood and I bought put options in canopy. Okay. Because I think guys right now in the short term, canopy is going to feel the pain a little bit. Uh, let's jump over and take a look at the report. So if you want to look at these, uh, you know, earnings reports objectively, this is awful. Okay, this is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Their growth EPS of a uh, minus a dollar and fifty-two cents. That's terrible. So it may not be comparable <clears throat> to what uh, analysts were actually expecting. So um, you know, like I said, analysts know canopy growth is fundamentally overvalued, so they actually lower expectations. Really, to me, EPS does not matter very much at all on these earnings reports to me as an investor. What I really want to see guys is the revenue numbers, okay? That's really all I'm interested in and I want to see how their year over year and quarterly growth is. So the revenue of $23.33 million guys, that was actually up 32.8% but they missed by $35.77 million. That is a pretty big miss, okay? I am not going to lie. Um, that, that's a pretty nasty miss right there. Of course, there's a lot of comp incoming companies um, you know, moving into the space that are competing directly with Canopy Growth. But uh, you know, um, I think Cron reported better, Tilray reported better, and Aurora all had superior uh, earnings reports. So let's touch on a few of these points real quick, guys. Uh, it's down 8% this morning in pre-market and light volume. And uh, it's quarter two report missed consensus and uh, it missed pretty bad. But you still have to look objectively. I still think canopy growth is going to be a good investment long term. I think in the short term, the price is going down. That's why I bought put options in them this morning. But uh, so uh, the revenues are up 31.8%. That's a good thing. The gross profit 10.9 million. The net loss was at 337.1 million, you know, uh, and their loss per share was a dollar and 52 cents. Now, kilograms and kilogram equivalents of cannabis sold, 2,197. That's up 8.8 percent. So really, you know, the company is growing. It is showing signs of growth. Um, you know, it's not like uh, this is a dead company, but. Uh, the only real issue I have with Canopy, guys, is that, you know, the $35 million miss uh, on revenue, um, you know, uh, they, <laughs> that, that, from an investor standpoint, that is insulting, okay? That is insulting. All right, guys, so, um, what, the day would not be complete unless we talked about Magna Gas, guys, and uh, their earnings report. That is a stock uh, I have covered extensively on this channel. And uh, so I do think it's important uh, that we recognize their earnings report, kind of discuss a little bit and look at the pricing action from today. So Magna Gas, they beat on the top line by uh, two cents, but they miss on revenue. So a top line beat, that would suggest they're undervalued, but uh, you know, beating on revenue, or in this case, missing on revenue, um, now that adds the question, uh, that they probably aren't undervalued. So the bar is set very, very low for this company, guys. Okay, they're expected to report 2.6 million dollars of revenue, and they miss that amount by a uh, uh, half um, half of a million dollars. So roughly 500 thousand dollars. But when all you're asked is to report 2.6 million dollars, 500 thousand dollars is a lot of money, and this is a pretty big miss. Okay. So they report a Q3 revenue growth of 195.9.5% year over year. So to $2.6 million, guys, that was dr driven largely by new acquisitions. 
up primarily the trico welding supplies which generated 1.26 million so i'll when you read this uh there is inspiring words in that there you know there should be some level of inspiration for the investor within that but i just don't want to paint a picture that's not here if you're missing on your earnings report you are not going in the right direction okay and, and i'm not like i said i'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody i know there's a lot of people that are very um, emotional about this stock. I've gotten some very um, kind of like emotional comments in the comment section, but it is my responsibility to broadcast the most responsible decision to everybody, okay? Um, and it, it would be irresponsible of me if I said, hey guys, I think this stock's going back to two or three dollars, you know? I think that would be irresponsible of me. I have to shoot you straight. Um, you know, this was not, uh, this was frowned on quite a bit by, you know, investors today, okay? Um, but, you know, you do if you do want to look at this earnings report somewhat objectively, you can lean on the fact that the quarterly revenue growth was 195.5%. So that is something to point at and say perhaps they're moving in the right direction. Now, efficiency kind of comes into the question. So they did report an operating loss of 3.55 million compared to 2.29 million a year ago. So obviously, as you make more money, um, you're going to create more loss. And the loss was considerably more than a year ago. Okay, Operating expenses were up 73.5%. Obviously, that's also going to happen. And... Uh, Sales were 175.1% down from 278%. So sales actually drifted down, okay? Um, they have a cash balance of 1.84 million as of September 30th, 2018. So um, just my quick two cents, guys. Make sure you're using a very, very small amount of money uh, for this stock. And it's very good day trading stock. I will you know, testify to that immediately. This is great stock for day trading. When they dip down really hard, you can throw a little money in there. Sometimes you can get a hundred percent return or 50% return in just a matter of seconds. So a uh, very good day trading stock, but from the investment standpoint, guys, it really not heading in the right direction. Like I said, sales were 175.1%. Now that's down from 278%. So sales are trending down. Okay and uh, losses are going up and it's not making sense on the balance sheet okay they missed by five hundred thousand dollars and uh you know i just hope that uh, the next earnings report is a lot better than this one okay i don't even think they issued guidance if they have issued guidance yet i have not found it but uh, that'll be something I'll keep an eye on. And guys, probably here in the next couple of weeks, I probably will do another uh, complete stock analysis on uh, Magnagas and, uh, you know, really give them another good look down going into next quarter's earnings report. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Drop me some comments and uh, have a great night.